To use the Stripe integration and the reoccurring payment block, go to Sites and either create a landing page or a website. I'm going to use one of the landing pages I already created and called Newsletter Subscription. I'm going to go ahead and click Edit to go into the editor. And here is the builder with the template I chose. So from here, I'll go to Blocks. You can, of course, use many blocks, but what I'm looking for is this one at the very bottom, Reoccurring Purchase. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it to the top. There we go. I'm just going to click it, or you can also click this little pencil button to go into the content and settings. I'm going to, going to, I'm going to go into the settings and I'm going to adjust the height to the screen size. There we go, because I think it's very important. This newsletter, this is just a page. This is a, just a landing page for selling my newsletter. So then I can go into the content area. I can go to Stripe. If you don't see your product, you can refresh it or then choose it from your drop down. And if you don't have any products here, well, you need to go to the Stripe dashboard by using this link. Let's go to the dashboard here, go into products, and make sure you actually have a product that is a subscription product. I'm going to go into here, I'm going to edit this product. And just remember, we are only able to process the standard pricing type here with the Stripe integration. So make sure the standard pricing is chose, is selected over here and then make sure it's reoccurring. If you're using the reoccurring block, well, you need a product that is reoccurring. If you're using the one-time block, well, you use the one-time block feature here. Make sure you have an image and a description. Well, you don't actually have to have that, but if you don't have that, it will not show up in Mailer Light. So it's better to have that because, you know, if you don't want to use it, you can always turn it off within Mailer Light. Oh, and there's one more thing worth mentioning. The settings over here, the payment methods, and here you can activate more of the payment methods that will be on the checkout page if you need them. Depending on your country, you will see different payment methods here, of course. So let's go back to our MailerLite landing page builder. We have chosen the, the product, and now we can say what happens after someone subscribes to this newsletter. Well, we can add them to a group. We can choose the group from the drop down here, or we can create a new group called Paid Newsletter, for example create an action after someone cancels. The action here is remove from group. And then we choose the group we want to remove the person from. We want the paid newsletter group. And we click Save. And there we go. Of course, we can also edit the, the settings, the colors of, of anything over here, any, anything you basically see. So if you want a green button, you can just choose it here or, or red or whatever color you like. I'm just going to keep it blue and I'm going to change the alignment here so it looks a little better. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to change anything else. Maybe this image, you can't really see it because it's dark over here, but the, the arrow changes once you go to the right bottom corner and that will allow you to change the size of this image if you'd like. So I'm liking this. You can also go to content, the success message, and you can go ahead and change anything you want with the success message. Message, Also, any of the colors and the other settings, like for example, show it in a card, which gives you access to other things you can change, like the, the background of the card over here. I'm just going to leave this like that. And that's it. Save. Save and publish. If you connected your domain to MailerLite, you will be, a be able to choose your domain name from here. If you want to do that now, just go ahead and click Add New Domain. Otherwise, just use the domain we provide and choose a name for yourself. Paid. There we go. Save and continue. Now you can go ahead and click this Copy URL button, open a new tab, paste the URL, click Enter, and this is the exact URL, the exact page that your website visitors will see when they arrive. They can scroll down to see the other things, but at the very top, you have that newsletter subscription. And once you click checkout, they will see the payment page over here with all the payment options that you chose in Stripe. For additional tips on setting up your Stripe integration, go ahead and look at our Stripe settings video for that. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description 
to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.